Good morning, everybody. It is uh, my last Sunday here in Kona, Hawaii, which is crazy. We've been sending off teams today, and my team leaves in roughly 36 hours to head out to India. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm in a different background. I'm in one of the tents on campus that has been used by the construction workers here during their breaks, um, their military issue tents. And it's pretty crazy as like I walked in here how cool it was at around noon on a day here in Kona where it's in the high 80s with 80% uh, humidity roughly and it, it was like walking into air conditioning. It was crazy. And it's outside in the dead beating sun, which is nuts. So that's where I am. I just like to give you guys a change of scenery whenever I do one of these. So yeah, this is video blog number 11 for Kona. Uh, summer 2012 and <clears throat> it's crazy to think of how fast the summer has gone by but at the same time how much has happened during the summer and yeah it is absolutely mind-blowing that in less than 36 hours I'll be taking a team of uh, six students and me and my co-leader Kaylee Guthrie will be going to India for two and a half months which is wild uh, you can be praying for us there has been um, some um, protests or demonstrations in Delhi, um, not too much near where we've been, but there has been the civil unrest, as some of you have probably heard through the news reports coming out of the Middle East. Um, but yeah, if you can be praying for safety for us and just peace wherever we go, and um, just the Lord's will and guidance for wherever we're headed, so that would be fantastic. I thank you for doing that. And <clears throat> yeah, we had just had amazing praise reports this week. At the beginning of the week, our team needed roughly $3,000 to be able to go. Otherwise, um, three, of, three of the people on our team wouldn't have been able to go. And by Friday, all 3,000 of it had come in. And so everybody is going to be going to India safe and sound. And yeah, I was just 100% confident the whole time that the Lord was going to bring it all in. That I've seen him provide so much so often. So $3,000 wasn't so hard, but I knew God would do it in his time and whenever he wanted to. So... Yeah, just super blessed by our team, and <clears throat> we've been giving the um, students on our team a chance to lead out team times, and it's been fantastic to watch them just really run after it and be creative in how they feel like they team times should be let out, and yeah, it's been great to have them do that because <clears throat> you get just so many different perspectives than just two people trying to lead a team time like me and Kaylee, and you get <clears throat> creativity and people doing things that you didn't expect and that uh, you didn't think of. And it's just, it's fantastic to see the way that people just creatively um, step out and um, pursue what they feel the Lord speaking in the time. And yeah, all of them have been amazing. So yeah, getting ready to go to India, I feel like we're super prepared. But at the same time, like, don't even know what we're stepping into, which is always the case of the Lord. It seems that, yeah, he calls us into things that, you know, that we can't do on our own strength. Surely. Otherwise, you know, why would we need God? So he calls us into these things that we're like, yeah, not sure of and that we aren't expecting. And yeah, things happen that we don't know. And um, the best thing to do is lean into God. And so this time is just, I'm expecting just to be an amazing time of faith building and trusting God. And yeah, just seeing him break out in the supernatural and and um, yeah, salvations and miracles and healings all over the place in Dharamsala, India. And that's really my expectations for this trip. And yeah, even with that, just seeing people grow deeper in their relationship with God. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's just, it's, it gets me so excited to be able to go to India. And um, yeah, just see people grow and increase with the Lord and just, yeah, in their relationship. Yeah, so blessed for it um, and with it. And uh, yeah, so that's like India coming up. It's the biggest thing on our on our list and if you've been following my video blogs I'm probably gonna be doing written blogs the next um, couple months because uh, internet where we're gonna be at is not the best or there isn't any so I'll be doing written blogs and then post them when I have a chance so they won't be as consistent as they have this summer so keep an eye out keep watching um, and looking at my blog but I'll be sending out emails as well so yeah um, <clears throat> if you're still curious about lecture phase uh, this past week we had Andy Bird and Sammy Rodriguez and both of them are just amazing preachers and bringing the fire of the Lord to everybody in this DTS and it was just awesome to see how they um, called people to a higher standard and raising them up and 
yeah, Andy just brought amazing team values to us and um, changing our perspectives and changing the way we think about yeah how things should be run and what we think we should do and um, team values for the teams, um, things like an unoffendable heart and joyfully repenting of, of sin and all that kind of stuff. And so it was just a fantastic week with him. Um, really good. Um, really set the mood for going on outreach and got people stoked and amped to go on outreach. And yeah, just wanting to start living totally abandoned, um, pure and holy lives for the Lord. Um, and yeah, just no mixture with anything else, just purely God. And so yeah, it's just been really good um, to have Andy speak this last week and just getting us pumped and ready to go on outreach. So yeah, um, yeah, that's that. <clears throat> I have a pretty big announcement, which I'll, I guess I'll share in this video. I don't want to make it too long, but um, next year, 2013, I'm going to be doing what's called a School of Biblical Studies in Taiwan for nine months, and it's an inductive study of the Bible for nine months. Um, you read through the Bible about seven times, and it is an amazing opportunity to dive into the thing that um, yeah, I love to do most, and I just read the Bible. So you guys can be praying for that, praying for provision. I still need funds for that. Um, and yeah, I'm believing God for everything that I need to go out there. So if you'd like to support me in that, um, you can give um, on my blog, the right-hand side. Uh, go to the Donate button and, yeah, scroll to the bottom of the page, and you'll see it. Um, it's right at the top of my blog, and then follow that. So, yeah. <clears throat> Bless you all. Thank you so much for your support and for your prayers. And yeah, leave comments and share this with your friends, share this with your family. Please pass it on. Otherwise, the word won't get out. So thank you so much for all that you guys do. Bless you. Bye.